In this video, we're going to talk about scheduled triggers for make scenarios. There are two primary types of triggers for make, scheduled triggers and webhook triggers. We will talk about webhook in this video in more detail, but in this video, we're going to talk about scheduled triggers. Now, a scheduled trigger is one that you set to run on a schedule, as you might think, uh, on a regular basis. And so I've got a scenario here. I'm going to click in to edit the scenario. And I'm going to look at the scheduling. This particular scenario I run every day at 1600, which is 4 p.m. We're going to look at the different ways you can schedule this. This is one example. We can go here to regular intervals. This is going to be the default example that you probably have when you build a new scenario. And you can choose how often it will run. Now I will tell you, if you run this every one minute or five minutes or 10 minutes, it will run every time. And even if there's no data, it will use one scenario operation every time it runs. So keep that in mind when you're scheduling your scenarios. I've seen situations where my clients have, they want it to run every five minutes, but they're racking up this huge usage of scenarios when it probably doesn't need to run that often. The other thing you can do is if you need to run it often, you can go down here to advanced scheduling and you can tell it to run, let's say from, 7 o'clock a.m. until 6 o'clock p.m. So that way it's only running, say, during your, your regular business hours. You can even come down here and make it run only Monday through Friday. So that's ways you can reduce that scenario usage if you need it to run often, if it's critical to your business. You can come down here and run it seasonally on certain months too, but honestly, I really don't use that. Another way we can do this is we can go once. Let's say I have a scenario and sometimes I have this. I just need to run one time on a specific date and time. You can do that right here. Next is every day, which I've shown you. Days of the week. You can select days of the week and a time for it to run. You can do days of the month. Similarly, you can give it a time and on certain days, let's say you want it to run on the first day of the month to generate some reports for the previous month. You can do that on specific dates. You can go here and list specific dates and then on demand. On demand means that you have this little bit different symbol here. This means it's not going to run unless you start it through the make API or you come here and you click the run button. And because I haven't saved this, I'm just going to refresh and reload and I'll go back to where I was previously with my everyday scheduling at 4 p.m. That is your trigger for scheduling. I will say if it's possible with your data source, it's always better to use a webhook. Let me say it's almost always better to use a webhook. Sometimes you want to use a timed schedule instead of a webhook. The advantage to webhooks, which again we'll talk about later, is that it only runs when there's new data. So if, if days or weeks go by and there's no new data, your scenario won't be running and using up operations. It's only going to run when your third party source has new data and sends it over to make. So that's your overview of the scheduled trigger for make. You've been watching our Make Co-Builder Academy training. And to continue your learning, please check out this playlist and I'll see you then.